Our gospel lesson for today is given to us from St. Luke. This is when Jesus is speaking to his disciples. Listen for God's living word as I read from Luke chapter 12. Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap, and yet they have neither storehouses nor barns, and yet God feeds them. How much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to the span of life? If then you are not able to do so small a thing as that, why do you worry about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed as one of them. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink, and do not keep worrying. For it is the nations of the world that strive after these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, strive after God's kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Thanks be to God for this reading. Amen. Ask of the beasts, said St. Francis. Ask ask of the beasts and they will tell you of the beauty of the earth. He was really just paraphrasing Jesus, right, from the passage Joe read for us from the Gospel of Luke a moment ago. Consider the grass of the meadow. Consider the lilies of the field. Consider the ravens of the air. Consider the sparrows, and they will tell you of the beauty of the earth. You know, when we tell the Christmas story, we talk about an innkeeper, but the Bible doesn't mention an innkeeper. We talk about a stable, but the Bible doesn't mention a stable. Away in a manger says the cattle are lowing, the poor baby wakes, but the Bible doesn't mention cattle. Another hymn says, why lies he in such mean a state where ox and ass are feeding? but the Bible doesn't mention ox or ass. We talk about the stable where Mary laid her baby, but the Bible doesn't talk about a stable. The Bible does mention, however, an inn and a manger. And where there's an inn, there must be an innkeeper. And where there's a manger, there must be a stable. And the animals who use the manger as a dinner plate. The church never celebrated Christmas until the fourth century. And as far as we know, there were no animals in a crush scene until St. Francis came along in the 13th century. In December of 1223, Francis visited a monastery in Greccio, which is 35 miles south of Assisi, and he wanted a special Christmas celebration, so he asked a local farmer to provide him with some sheep and some cows and goats and some donkeys. And so they gathered around the monastery and St. Francis asked his brother friars to be the shepherds and the magi. And so this is the first crush scene that we know of with animals in it. And ever since, of course, every crush you've ever seen has had animals, goats, sheep, and cattle. After the celebration was over, St. Francis asked that the livestock be brought in and carefully tethered next to a local husband and wife and their baby. And he asked that extra hay and straw be spread around for the animals. So that was the beginning of Christmas as we know it today. 